Oh no. I think I've been panned. We better wrap this thing up before we start a pandemic. He wouldn't be annoyed being bothered with me so late at night. Well, you let me do the worrying, hmm? I'll do anything that'll help me get rid of this face. <laughs> well, that's where I come in. Remember the last time I helped you? Where are you going? Who are you calling? My girlfriend. I want to tell her the news. Before you know what the verdict's going to be? You're right. I, I shouldn't talk until I know what's going to happen. Well, my girlfriend, she's supposed to drop in later. I'll have to leave her a note or something. Well, just tell her you'll see you later. Otherwise, she'll ask a lot of nosy questions. We want to be sure first. Just throw something on, huh? I'll be with you in a minute. Well, just tell her you'll keep in touch. I'll leave it on the table. She'll see it. Had to go out with old friend Bill Courtner. We'll call you tomorrow. Doris. Here. I'll leave it on the lamp. She'll see it, won't she? That's the first place she'll look. I'll leave the lights on for her. <laughs> I have waited so long for this. So have I. You've got to see mine. Wonder which of us is more awful. Nothing you can be is more terrible than what I am. A head without a body. A head that should be in its grave. I hate him. I hate him for what he's done to me. Can your horror match mine? feed your friend while you feed yourself with hate. It prefers food. Your former sniveling fear becomes you more. Yeah. What makes you think I'm afraid of what's in there? Or of you? A mere head in search of a body. People fear what they don't understand and what they can't see. What are you talking about? You're nothing but a freak of life and a freak of death. Why should I be afraid of a few knocks on a door? But last night you ran. You were afraid of what you imagined lay behind that door. I? Imagined? It was I who helped graft together the bits and pieces that were stolen from the hospital. An amputated arm, a leg, a torso. It was I who helped piece them together like a monstrous jigsaw puzzle. And that same medicine that he fed to me to activate my lymphoid tissues, has he fed it to that? No. 
No, on that he used an earlier formula. It wasn't as successful as the serum he's using on you. But it uh, was enough to allow the transplants to take. If your experiment is successful, And what else has happened to it? Mean what else? Well, it's, it's mutated some, of course. It's changed considerably. Why don't you open the door? And we'll both see how it's changed. Listen, you. I warn you. You better stop pestering me, do you hear? I'm getting fed up with you and your insidious talk. He should have cut out your tongue while he was at it. Afraid? Afraid of whom? Of you? No. Not anymore. But of it. Nor of it. Tony. Keeps it locked in there so that it'll be safe, that's all. Safe? From me? <laughs> you beast. I hope he prolongs your existence into a lifetime of agony. Then we'll see who's laughing at whom. You miserable fool! Get him! You and your father live here? Only on weekends when we want to get away from the city. This place certainly is lonely. Well, the further from prying eyes, the better. I mean, it's nice and quiet here. We can get away from the noise and telephones. 
Oh, I guess it is. Well, sit down, sit down. I'll fix us a drink, huh? My father should be back soon. You mean he's not here now? Oh, come on now, Doris. Do I look like a maniac who goes around killing girls? Now you've got to learn to trust people. Oh, people like me, really. I'm sorry. I trust you. I trust you with my life. Well, I can't ask for any more than that. I'll be right back. Beginning to think you'd forgotten about me. Forgotten you? Why, oh, Doris, you've become very important to me. Very important. I put a little water in it so it wouldn't be too strong for you. Fine. I'm not a very heavy drinker. Neither am I. Well, um, here's to your future, whatever it may be. I'll drink to that. It's getting awfully warm in
something in my drink. Didn't you? I can. I want you as a complete woman, not part of one. Is it a crime to want to keep you alive? Is it a crime for science to jump ahead by years? This kind of thing must be done. When it's over, you'll see. I've got to hurry now. The drug will wear off soon and she'll be awake. When she does come to, it will be your head consciously awakening for her.
Well, I guess you'll be happy to know I'll no longer be panning this one off on you. Yeah! But I would like to award this movie the Rusty Pan. And on that note, I'll simply say, don't worry about Jan. I think she ended up with the talking heads. Okay, okay, well, until next time, be seeing you.